Well, then, uh, we just said this is the sixth lesson, a Catholic religion, <laughs> in a small circle. Friday afternoon, didn't expect any other thing. But it's great that you found your way here on the topic of megatrend sustainability, because this was all there was in the overview. So it was a surprise package. And um, how will we help him con customers to become more sustainable? This is uh, the underlying topic. Well, <laughs> come in. <laughs> Good afternoon. A uh, mega trend sustainability uh, in the first step, I would like to cover what a mega trend is and what sustainability means. Maybe also within the cost and context of a software company where you wouldn't expect this right away. What we can do in terms of uh, sustainability, but first one or two charts so that you know who I am. Uh, Tobias Marx is my name. I'm one of the CEO of Apollon. This is the blue tile at the bottom. We are uh, the Müller Meyer Group. This is a group of four companies that all cover marketing, product information, etc. And we've done so since 1910 for many, many years. And we, Apollon, are the software subsidiaries. So we look at software development. We have um, PIM and DUM solution. It's called Online Media Net. Probably some of you have the little busy bee in our logo. And we also do integration of our software integrations, but also hold software worlds together with web shop implementations with a scroll catalog solution that we offer and with all of the consulting environment you need to establish such a solution with a customer who do we do this for some customers here to show you that we cover all sectors, uh, uh, all sizes of customers and try to support them in a wide variety of processes regarding product and uh, digital sales channels and of course also the print channels. Uh, after all, we are at the print days. So much for uh, selling you our shop window. Now on to the actual topic and the definition of the term. What is a megatrend? It sounds like a big term. And it is. Um, the underlying trend, uh, the, the term was coined by John Nesbitt. This is an Amer American futurologist. And he describes it as uh, major influential trends um, that uh, make for political, societal and uh, economic change in consumer behavior, in leisure behavior, health, education, culture. And I think uh, regardless how we think of uh, sustainability, whether it's uh, ecological, economical or environmental, what has happened over the past two years, so uh, sustainability is definitely a mega trend that we uh, should keep an eye on. But what does sustainability mean and why is it is important? And I've brought a little video to set the scene for you. This was, of course, not the positive effect of sustainability, but why we should uh, give it a thought. It makes you ponder. Have you seen extrapolation? This is here's on Apple TV Plus that uh, looks ahead of time. What's going to happen from 2037 if we don't make a lot of progress in e environmental uh, progress? And there are some scenarios projected uh, that we don't want to see and experience. And this is why sustainability is important to factor in. What we've seen here refers a lot to e environmental sustainability. As a software manufacturer, we of course have to think about how we can impact this. We're not wasting any resources apart from uh, the coffee that our developers require. But apart from this, it is uh, usually a topic of the manufacturing industry and heavy industry. Nevertheless, we have to look at sustainability because it, um, it describes the 
use of resources, um, uh, considering the regenerative capacity of uh, systems to ensure that a permanent satisfaction of needs is ensured, and if it's only the survival of the system. But it clearly means that I cannot take out more than I actually invest to keep things alive and up and running. This is why sustainability refers to both ecology and economy. And uh, he, this is why we are thinking of it. In this context, um, we have three levels. Uh, this is uh, the ecological, environmental topics, uh, supply channel, but also the economic ones, uh, uh, employees, partners, customers, all the financial resources that we have to look at and uh, with a little sub-elements. But what I would like to do today is cover this uh, topic from PIM, the Product uh, Information Management, because this is the area we specialize in and that many of you are interested in. And, um, so this is why I've broken it down to three areas in relation to PIM. This is the organization, this is uh, the partner relations, and thirdly, it's uh, product communication. All of these three factors have a strong impact on sustainability, the sustainability of our customers, the people who use PIM systems, dam systems, and all of the periphery. And this is why I would like to cover these three aspects in more detail. Let's kick off with the organization. This is an important part of uh, sustainability strategies because when using a PIM, it's not only about uh, saving e ecological resources, on, but it is about efficient use of resources, human resources, technical resources that are probably limited, and um, therefore it is about uh, keeping up uh, efficiency or improving it in a sustainable Manner. And an efficient change process is uh, first and foremost. This is what we're often faced with when we look at uh, these processes by customers who are not using a PIM system. Very often these companies want to change, but the current organizational structures, the limits set, political structures within the companies that do exist um, put obstacles to this. If uh, business processes are to be made sustainable, then sustainability must also be embedded in the brand core. And looking at it from a different perspective, from a completely different company, then this also requires and results in a fundamental change process. So the use of resources, each process in a company must be reassessed from the viewpoint of uh, sustainability if I want to trigger this sustainable or transformation process. And this often puts uh, business models upside down. I probably have to sell new things, part with old uh, products, and this requires major change systems. PIM systems offer the advantage that these systems can easily adapt to new situations and uh, uh, products while ERP systems are very static and heavy, PIM systems are slender and faster and uh, can actively support the change process. Transformation processes as uh, interim storage of uh, information can be supported and the product related uh, processes and workflows can be adapted faster to new organizational structures, to new products I need. PIM systems are therefore important enablers for sustainability in organizations. The second point are optimized and cross-departmental processes. Our customers uh, often have decentralized information, animosities between uh, departments, marketing, advertising, then the graphic arts department that often do not collaborate. Um, they have their data silos in software, etc. And the big chaos can be sorted out with a PIM system and can be optimized because a PIM system succeeds in bringing data together in one central place. So one central data management helps all departments to find existing content and uh, add new content. With good data structures, information can be maintained quickly. Everyone's on the same page quickly. Um, 
to transfer information to dealers, wholesalers that I may have. And once I've optimized this, this saves a lot of time and money. And this means that I also strongly impact my sustainability, my ecological sustainability. And the last point is uh, employee acceptance. Many employees are afraid of the introduction of new IT systems. They know this is a huge change process, a very painful process. And in my new work, uh, I have to learn a lot to be able to use the tool, undergo trainings. And this means, uh, and Employees are very concerned. They think in terms of problems. Today, the PIM systems are no longer complex machines that require a lot of training, that require a manual for operating. This is GUIs that are intuitive and like web applications. I know exactly where to find what, where to click to do what. So it's a self-explanatory system and an easy to learn tool. And this is why it is easier to obtain employee adoption um, than in the past. And this means that PIM systems can take effect more quickly in organizations and thereby um, make a positive impact on sustainability. Organization as such is an uh, essential uh, building block uh, in the design of a sustainable corporate orientation. Second point, customer or partner relations. This is important, thinking of dealers and retailers who are not producing themselves if uh, they're external partners, for instance, upstream or downstream partners, in the retail environment, the product data needs to be transferred a lot, transformed at times. Then very often they need to be checked, rechecked. Then communication processes have to take place between the various partners. And this uh, actually um, actually faces many companies with major challenges. PIM systems offer a wonderful opportunity here because they have open interfaces, interface tools such as offered by Nexoma, a partner of ours, whose uh, on-site here and delivered a talk in order to break up data silos and integrate them and introduce a lot of transparency into the process, thereby enabling efficient data um, uh, transfer, giving data truth. So uh, the second uh, topic, transparent supply chains. Today users very often expect that I can understand um, or know, we mentioned Bofors, frozen food, and shoppers today want to know where did uh, the uh, peas come from that I bought, the farm, the uh, farmer. And such uh, sustainable supply chain information can be held in one point, and this is very often the PIM system. So I can easily document, even lay down guidelines, which information has to be delivered with the product online or on, in the print channels. So I have a wonderful structure to upload information to, and I have an excellent control whether all of the data is available that I need and uh, uh, whether I can deliver all of the data that my shopper wants. So from the beginning to the very end of the value chain, the PIM system tries to provide the customer all of the information needed and wanted. And the last point is uh, the integration of online marketplaces. This is a topic um, which in the B2C environment, but also increasingly in B2B, plays an uh, important role. There are more and more distribution channels. And this is why it is important to cover all of these touch points uh, efficiently those market uh, places and cut a fine finger on all of these marketplaces and with a consistent image. So brand consistency is important for this. The PIM system here helps to cover all of the distribution channels uh, and to ensure that uh, the right information is available for all of the channels and thereby ensuring that my presence, market presence as a supplier, as a provider is uh, strengthened. This is important to show I am your right partner and I can sustainably serve you because this is what we all want to do. And the third and last point is product communication. This is very close to the PIM because it uh, strongly impacts uh, how my brand is perceived on the market.
One important and uh, um, detail when you speak about sustainability is to have fewer returns. Once I've shipped my products, uh, I want the shopper to retain the product, keep the product. And this is why comprehensive information is so important. Shopper in retails um, can taste, touch, uh, try on products, whatever is needed, depending on what they want to buy in online, in e-commerce in general. This is, of course, difficult. And this is why it is even more important to have as much information as possible for a product that uh, fit uh, videos, um, instruction manuals, uh, how do I use this and um, um, this is the things I have to deliver and I have to get this information, save this information, transform it, convert it and a PIM system can help to do this and um, uh, offer customers from text to images, videos, and whatever the single source of truth. The second point, uh, product configurators. Depending on your customer, there are, of course, configurable products and uh, they also impact the number of returns because a configured uh, product should never return. But with a configurable product, uh, I can also allow uh, shoppers or customers to get a tailor-made solution. So PIM helps us to positively impact the decision-making process. And many PIM uh, producers offer this uh, possibility to either deliver in configurators. This is the example of one of our customers. Uh, this is a configurator for um, a, a podiatry a treatment cabinet that's not a kitchen uh, but we also have configurators for treatment beds for instance so the database is very structured a model in PIM and we allow the customer to decide quickly in favor of a product uh, and help the customer in its setup What's key here is, of course, user guidance. How does the user um, c get the product with as few steps as possible? And the database in PIM and the front end for the customer can be very helpful and make its contribution in order to be convincing. And the last point, the strong brand identity. This is, of course, a topic uh, that is very much embedded in the PIM environment. Also, damn, I have to make sure that a brand always has the same appearance, same image quality, texts are the same way, length, quality. This is uh, very important for many customers. And a PIM dam system can uh, help a lot here. Credibility of a brand thrives on brand consistency. And this is why it's so important. PIM. Uh, allows central access to data for all employees who have to send out a uh, brand a message. You, they don't have to come up with their own text or organize their own images or actually edit them. They know I'll find this information in a central system. And uh, at the end of the day, um, this gives us a strong impact on the customer's sustainability and corporate sustainability of the PIM users. In summary, and we're already uh, approaching the end, I really wanted to keep it a little shorter in this last session. Consumers expect comprehensive product information. They want to uh, see a commitment from the companies that they buy from, uh, a commitment towards sustainability and a sustainable supply chain. And they expect transparency in processes from the beginning to the end, from production to delivery. Consumers are far more sensitive these days and as a company I do not only have to respond to this I should rather proactively 
actively um, uh, launch it uh, to be ahead of the competition. Retailers or dealers need uh, more and more um, consistent uh, information and informa interfaces for their own information supply systems. And here, PIM really helps to support sustainable business processes and to establish them. Last info, we also did uh, a study with the group of analysts uh, behind the QR code. You've got the LinkedIn profile. If you're interested, just connect me on LinkedIn and I'll send it to you. So you can ask for the white paper. And this uh, is only food for thought uh, to ponder on uh, what your position is. Is this uh, my solution? Do I need the solution uh, to really make sustainability? process progress so much uh, for me that's me again <laughs> are there any questions on this topic or any critical remarks uh, or are you all happy that it's over <laughs> thank you okay that's nice to hear <laughs>